What? 18,000 wan of dowries? Vani, you have a paralyzed mom and a lousy gambling dad to your family. I'm a good match way out of your league. You should send me a car as dowries instead of asking me for dowries. But I earn more than you, and I paid the down payment of the matrimonial house. Your parents' names are on the house property certificate, and now you ask me for a car? I have no money. Why don't you ask your family for the money? If they don't give, take it as a loan. We can pay them back after we get married. Vani, I really want to marry you. Can't you just do more for our future life, huh? Chad, don't get me wrong. I'm here to ask for dowries, not give out. Vani, you'd better take the offer. It is you eager to marry out, saying your mom is seriously ill, and you need a marriage to relieve her worries. Look at you, the least eligible woman. I pity you so that I offer to marry you. If you don't buy me a car, the marriage is off the table. Right. I'm desperate to get married, but not desperate enough to marry you. You! If I won't marry you, who would like to be with you? Hey dude, are you single? Do you mind having a wife? Get on board and go register now. I'd like to give it a shot. Anyhow, I don't have a wife. Do you see that? He wanna marry me. Scumbag. I'm married? Pack your things tonight and move to my... our home. Where? So we are living together? What are you thinking about? We're married. It's natural for us to live together. Well, I'm John, an office worker. I'm usually busy at work. When you move in, you don't need to take care of me. I can't support you with my salary. I have to work now. See you then. I'll pick you up after work. I see. We are working slaves. It's not easy to make a living. Just go back to work. How do you go home? Why not take a taxi? I'll pay for it. There are shared bikes at the gate. I can ride one. Working slave? Hm. My grandma chose her to be my wife. She seems to be interesting for now. I fainted last time. It's her saved me. After I left the hospital, she knew I lived alone and made many calls to cheer me up. John, she's the kindest girl I've ever met. You love her when you see her. Grandma, we are in a new era. Why do you want to arrange marriage for me? What? I got her schedule yesterday. I want you to meet her. If you think she's a good girl, you can develop your relationship after marriage. Hear me out. If you don't give it a shot, you'll see my scenery casket when you get back. Boss, we've got 1,000 acre land of suburb of eastern China. Construction will be started in the middle of this month. Central Bank is asking us for a loan. Yes. Well... That's all for today. I'm going to pick up my wife home. Pick up your wife? What? Our boss is married? What gift should I give to a girl on our first date? The first date? A lightning marriage? I think you are suitable for our project in Africa. Do you think so? Sorry, boss. I won't do it again. Just answer my question. No more bullshit. I think if you're not familiar with each other, it's better to send flowers. Half an hour. In just half an hour, I'll put the imported roses to the given location. Good. From now on, you drive my car and I'll drive yours. What? What's wrong with Mr. Lou? He want to drive my old Mercedes instead of his fancy Phantom? Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Good dogs don't get underfoot. Hey, you! Get out of my way! Oops. Funny. You're dead meat. That's my new car. You just scratched it. You have to pay for the damage. 3,000 win. What the hell? It's your fault. You nearly hit me. Hmm. Besides, she's your ex-girlfriend. She can't even afford a car. This poor girl deserves to be dumped. He dumped me for a car. Are you not afraid he will dump you for a suit or something? Stop. Who the hell are you? 
It's none of your business. She's my wife. You tell me if it's my business. Your wife, huh? Vonnie, you're good. It turns out I was just your backup? Fine, you're just in time. You have to pay me. 30,000 yuan. Well, if you can't prove that we made that scratch marks, I'll give you the money. What do you mean? Hey! 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 You! A check with 30,000 yuan. <laughs> you asshole. What's a big deal to drive a Mercedes, huh? Do you know who I am? I'm the leader of the venture department of the Johnson's Financial Group. I can make you disappear from Cloud City with a simple order. So listen to me. Kneel down. Pick the check up for me. Maybe I'll forgive you. If you please me. Johnson's Financial Group is the biggest enterprise in Cloud City. How about we make an apology? You are so tolerant. No need to risk our lives. The Venture Department Leader of the Johnson's Financial Group. Chan, I got your name. That's good. Why do you waste your time with such a poor guy? Maybe they even never heard of the Johnson's Financial Group. Hand it over to the lawyer. I don't want to waste my time on them. Qinghai Jewelry Franchise will hold a banquet in my hotel. I have to keep an eye on it. We've got to go. I paid the money, but you also owe us. The down payment of the matrimonial house cost Vani 200,000 yuan. You have to return the money. She gave me the money. Why should I return? Oh, bullshit. You asked me for the money to buy the matrimonial house. If you don't return the money by tomorrow, you'll be kicked out of the Johnson's financial. Um, Mr. Lu, you were supposed to say tough words instead of nonsense. Hey, you asshole. Stop bragging. Do you think you own the Johnson's Financial Group, huh? Stop wasting time with the poor guy. It's just 200,000 yuan. Here's the money. Hey. It'll be greater loss if we delay the Qinghai Jewelry Franchise Banquet. Let's go. You asshole. Just wait and see. Oh, you're great. Follow me. Hey, where are you going? Mr. Lu, why didn't you set up the house? Oh, I see. We're working slave. You don't have money for setting up the house after down payment, right? What kind of house did Sean choose for me? He didn't even set it up. It doesn't matter. You can set it up, except the study. Me? I'm gonna take a shower. You can just have a look. What? what Are you serious? I don't have that habit of watching nudity. What are you thinking? I mean, look around the room, not me. Oh my god, what am I saying? So embarrassing. By the way, you can call me John or Hubby. You don't need to call me Mr. Lu. Got it, Mr. Lu. Would you like to take a shower with me? No, thank you. Then why do you stand in my way? <laughs> That's my Mudcats. Why did you sign your name? Because the director of the design department is my cousin. The reason is obvious, but you're too arrogant to understand. What a joke. Look, everyone. Lisa stole my muckets. You'll be fired as soon as the Johnson Financial Group successfully injected the money. Maybe you'll tell me that I made the waste paper useful. That's right. It's no good to be married but no child. I heard that you just got married with a piece of shit. Bonnie, come to my office. You know, we'll get the capital injection from the Johnson's Financial Group. It's not wise. To get married at this crucial moment. I thought we would talk about Lisa stole my maquettes. If not, I'll go back to work. Vonnie!
a big shot from Johnson's financial group will hold a party. At the Great Hotel of Zhanghai City tonight. If you go there with me, and he sees your maquettes, you can get your maquettes back. Moreover, you'll be the leader of our design department. A big shot of Johnson's financial group. Why do I have to go there? Because you know him. Mr. Liu, Venture Department has acquired Jinghai Jewelry Franchise. The director, Jason, holds a banquet for you. Tomorrow night, Venture Department hopes you can show up there. It is just a small company. Why should I go there? No need. But Mrs. Vani is working in Jinghai Jewelry Franchise. We found out that Jason indulged in his cousin Lisa, bullying Mrs. Vani. I see. I'll go there. So you pretended to be a sweet guy on our blind date. Vani? I was almost cheated by you. Stay away from me! Vani! Ha ha ha. I did pretend, so what? I just love cheating girls like you. Huh, stupid. And innocent. Ha ha ha. Mr. Lin, I brought her here for you. After the acquisition, we'll be colleagues. Please take care of me. In the Johnson's financial group, I hope you can say, um, something good about me. In front of the CEO of Johnson's financial group at the banquet tomorrow night. Yeah, got it. You can bet on me. After I fuck her. <laughs> Vani, weren't you so arrogant before? Huh, come on. <laughs> Keep being arrogant now. You dare sleep with another man? You have no idea that. You can't afford to mess with Johnson's financial crew. After I fuck you, I will find your husband. <laughs> Let her go. Let her go. What the hell are you? You finally come. Vani, drink this cup of wine. I'll ask Lisa to make an apology to you in public, and you can get your maquettes back. So, you're her husband. How dare you touch my woman? Where the hell are you from? How dare you beat Mr. Lin up? He's from Johnson's financial group. You were lucky last time. I didn't make you any trouble. I won't let you go this time. Jason. Find out the information of this guy. I'll make you bankrupt in three days. I have no time to talk to you. Security! Throw this scumbag out. How dare you! Just wait and see! Mr. Lu. You're so handsome. Put your hands off me. No. <laughs> ah! I'm done. So embarrassing. Mr. Lu must think I'm a wet woman. Honey, do you realize what Tommy does? Come over now. The banquet is about to start. Come over and make an apology to Mr. Wade. If you want to die, don't drag us. I'm glad that you all come to this banquet. I'd like to propose a toast to all of you. Sorry. I'm really sorry for what happened last night. 
I hope you don't vent your anger on others and Mr. Lu. Yo! Who is this? Yo! Mrs. Vani! Do you think that I'll let it go with a simple word? That's right. Mr. Lin gave you a favor, but you didn't feel grateful and even beat Mr. Lin up. Kneel down and apologize. Or get out of Cloud City with your useless husband. What do you want? If you want to apologize, you should show your sincerity. What do you mean? I want you to wear this dress. Stop dreaming. Hey, everyone! I did give you a chance, but Vani didn't take it. So, I have to think about whether you will stay in the company after the acquisition. We're it! <sighs> Vani, don't pretend to be an innocent girl. We all knew you dumped Mr. Lin and married another guy. I advise you to wear it, not be a drag on us. What are you doing? Let me go. We need this job. Funny, do not be a drag on us. Chat, you son of a bitch. I won't do it even if I have to die. Well, if you don't wear it, then you're... Uh-huh. Mr. Lu will be dead meat. He messed with me several times. I'll kill him. Right, after the banquet. Let me go. Mr. Lu didn't mess with you. I just don't like him. Isn't he tough, huh? He said he would kick me out of Cloud City. Let's see who will gain the upper hand between us. Fine, I'll wear it. Will you let Mr. Lu go? Ooh, I'll think about it. Fine, I'll do it. Wait, you're supposed to wear it and stand on the stage to tell everyone that you're a slut. You don't deserve to be a jewelry designer and leave the company. How dare you? You can scold me, you can insult me, you can also fire me. But you don't have the right to say I don't deserve to be a jewelry designer. I can say that on behalf of Venture Department of Johnson's Financial Group. Who gives you the right to speak on behalf of Venture Department of Johnson's Financial Group? You're not qualified. Who gives you the right on behalf of the Department of Johnson's Financial Group? Mr. Lin. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Mr. Lin, why are you here? I'm worried about you, so I'm here for you. Take it easy. Leave it to me. Just relax and watch. From now on, you're fired. If anyone hire him in Cloud City, he'll be my enemy. Huh. Who do you think you are? Fire me? You loser! How dare you bark like a dog here! Jason! What are you doing? You just let a loser in? Can you stand the anger from the CEO of Johnson's Financial Group? Get fucking out! Who do you think you are? Stop barking here! It's the banquet for Johnson's Financial Group. The richest man and the CEO of Johnson's Financial Group is welcomed here. Security! Throw the loser out! Security! Come on! He's here! Huh? What the hell are you? How dare you bark like a dog in front of me? Chad, are you insane? He is Sean, the secretary of CEO of Johnson's Financial Group. Secretary Zhao? Why did he back the loser up? Honey, do you mistake him for Secretary Zhao? Hurry up, throw the two losers out. Oh, do you think I'm fake too? Oh, yeah, Mr. Chen. Why do you come here in person? I just fixed some losers. Keep your fucking mouth no. up. Mr. Chen, I... You offend the big shot of Johnson's financial group. You're fired. Attention, this is news from Johnson's financial group. Chad, from Venture Department. He is charged with abusing his power. Insult colleagues. He is ousted in the entire industry. What? No, no, that's impossible. I just fixed an underprivileged assistant. How could I offend the big shot in the headquarters? Mrs. Vonnie, are you satisfied with the solution? Mrs. Vonnie. People in Venture Department are upright. Chad is just an exception. I hope you can say something good about our department when you're with our CEO. You did it with honesty and fairness. It's just, I don't know who's the CEO. I may not be able to help you. How, How could, could you, you not know our CEO? You'll, you'll find, find out later. later. That's, That's your, your husband. husband. You bitch! 
I know it! You ruined me! <gasps> Chad! You lost the game. Get out of Jianghai City. Who are you? I am the CEO of Johnson's Financial Group. John. You! You take advantage of Johnson's Financial Group to bully Mrs. Bonnie. Get out of here! Thank you, Secretary Chow. Are you okay? Secretary Chow is good at Kung Fu. He gives me a sense of safety. I guess the CEO is an old model-headed man. That's why he needs Secretary Chow, who is good at Kung Fu. He needs someone to protect him. Nonsense. <clears throat> Grandma want to invite you and your dad to come over for family feast in two days. Do you have time then? Is my dad supposed to come? Of course. We're married. But my dad... Starlong has no idea that I have a greedy and lousy gambling debt. I don't know whether Mr. Lu minds that. I get married with you, not your dad. Don't think too much. Well, then okay. Uh, Mr. Lu, what did you say to Chad? He was almost frightened to death. I... John? John! John! I'm back. I won't leave you anymore. Sorry, just now we make you two feel awkward. Long time no see, Secretary Zhao. You are? Vani. Hmm. Hello? I'm John's first love, Nancy. Nice to see you. Hi, I'm Mr. Chow's friend, Vani. You've just known him for a couple of days, right? If you want to quarrel, don't involve me. I'm busy, I gotta go. You can have a nice chat. John. Don't you want to know why I left you back then? Your grandma, Madame Lu, forced me. She threatened me with the future of Glynn's. I had no choice. You've been abroad. What did you have to do with me? John, I know you had me now, but I had no choice. These years, I was alone abroad. I couldn't live without you. I was so inconsolable. I'm married now. Vani. John, we grew up together. I don't believe you don't have feelings for me. I've never lost anything that I want. Mr. Lu, you're back. Mr. Lu, I'm going to bed. Good night. Mr. Lu, is Mrs. Vani at home? We didn't find her, near the hotel. Shall we search for her in the whole city? No. Sorry. The number you dialed cannot be connected. She seems to be angry. Hello, Grandma. Can we change the family feast to tomorrow? And could you please invite Fanny to the dinner for me? There's a misunderstanding between us. She ran away from home. You brat! Did you bully her? I told you, it was a misunderstanding. I'll explain to her, tomorrow night. What's wrong? Why do you stay with me? You've just got married. Did you have a quarrel? Nope. I know you married him to relieve my worries. I'm sorry. But that Mr. Lu seems to be a nice guy, according to your description. You are a newly married couple. It's natural to have some misunderstanding. It'll be better after some time. Mom, doctor said you need to relax more and talk less. Funny. Listen to me. As long as there's no mistress, there's still room for redemption. Nancy is the daughter of the richest man in the Cloud City. And she is Mr. Lu's first love. So Mr. Lu had a sugar mommy? Funny, I'm gonna have a family feast tomorrow. Are you and your family free? I'll ask someone to bring you. Grandma, Mr. Lu and I... I know. Take it easy, my girl. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Hi there! Come on. Mr. Su, take a seat. It's been a long time since John and Fanny got married, and as their family, we have never seen each other. Yeah. It's our first time to meet each other. 
Funny. When I first saw you, I know you and John are perfect match. Thank goodness the asshole from your blind dad didn't marry you. I'm so glad John and you got married. Turns out our marriage was set up by grandma. You are doomed. To be husband and wife, it must be fate. Marriages are met in heaven, grandma. You may not know that Mr. Wu has a beloved first love. They are meant to be together. Strictly speaking, I'm there on door. You mean Nancy? Hi. Save it. She isn't his first love. She just saved John when she was a little girl. She's a savior when John was eight. He had a car accident with his parents when they returned to China. Mom! 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 <laughs> Go away! Go away! Don't try to help me! Mom! Mom! <sighs> you should live well. So, John treated her differently. But don't worry. The man in the loose won't divorce. You should believe him. I can tell that he's into you. Guess what? He begged me to hold this family feast for you and to apologize. This story seems so familiar with you thinking that Mr. Lu is so pathetic. How could Madame Lu know that John is into her? Why haven't I known that? Grandma, I get some gifts for you. John, today's supposed to be family feast. But why do you bring an outsider? Are they in a relationship? Or will they have an announcement? Grandma, don't blame John. I asked John to bring me in. This time, I'm here for your forgiveness. I shouldn't have accepted the money back then. John, look at Grandma. Doesn't she want to forgive me? Should I get out of the house? You did get the money. I hope you should keep your promise. Stay away from John. After all, he is married. You shall go now. You bitch. I have come back, but you still dare to stay with John? Wanna fight me for a minute? No way you can get him. What? Are they in a relationship? Where did you go last night? Why didn't you answer my phone call? I... I didn't hear the ring. Uh, since Mr. Lou is here, let's put it straightly. Madam Lou, we need, uh... To increase the dowries. My girl is worth 880,000 wen at least. Today, I need more money. If not, I'll sue Mr. Lu for abducting a young girl. Dad, what are you talking about? Hey, don't tug at my sleeve. Dad, could you not embarrass me all the time? Besides, I proposed to Mr. Lu. Stop it. Don't you forget. Your mom is in the hospital. And I? I was in debt. I owe a lot of money. I have to ask for more dowries. Then, you don't need to work hard. Oh. Uh, in fact, I do this for your own good. Divorce, John. I'll give you 100 million won. You are so generous. You can't have the money after the divorce. <clears throat> Mr. Shu, I'll transfer the money to your bank card. Just rest assured, I'll go out of my way to be a good husband. Uh, really? You promised to give me the money? That's so good. Money is yours from now on. Well, wait. If, if you give me some gift or a red envelope, that will be better. Dad! What did Nancy say to you at the family feast? She asked me to divorce you. She will give me 100 million yuan. 100 million yuan? Do you want to leave me? No, but you didn't tell her that I'm your wife. <laughs> Are you jealous? Mr. L, you're drunk. I didn't tell her that you're my wife, not because I didn't want to do it. It was because I wanted to respect you. 
As for the reason why we showed up together, that was because she told me she wanted to apologize to grandma and she will tell you what happened to me and her. Then you wouldn't misunderstand us. I didn't. I was just surprised that you're worth a lot of money. A hundred million years. You have to consider choosing me. I'm worth much more money. <laughs> the man in the loose won't divorce until the dead. <laughs> I gave your dad the dowries. You're mine. But Nancy saved you. It's the fact your sense of guilt. It's like the string of kite in her hand. If she needs you, you have to go for her. I don't want to be sandwiched between you two. See? What's wrong? John! I want to see you for the last time. Hurry up. She needs you badly. Ronnie. John. 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 I had a nightmare again. My dad locked me up. I was abroad alone. I, I can't live without you. Then you should call your father instead of me. No way. I just want to see you for the last time before I kill myself. So I'm here. Remember, it's the first time you threatened me with your death. If you do it again, I'll kill you with my own hands. John, I really love you. This time, I return to China to marry you. Do you remember I stayed with you and took good care of you when you were sick? We have known each other for six years. How could you marry another woman? You just knew her for a couple of days. I know Madame Mu won't allow you to a divorce, but I can talk to Fonny. No need. Why? Is Miss Fonny unwilling? I can beg her. I can kneel down. I can do anything for you. She's willing to divorce, but I'm not. Nancy, you made her misunderstand us since you returned China. I know your dirty tricks well. <sighs> Bitch, he is so determined, even though they just know each other for a couple of days. You forced my hand, John. Lynn Grip will hold the Royal Crown Design Competition in three days. It's about to start at the time. There will be a lot of famous jewelry designers. I can invite Fanny. Then I'll explain to her in front of you. What do you think? Remember your words. <sighs> At that time, I'll ruin her in front of you. What if I invite female designers to this competition? Will that make her happy? Mr. Lu, did you upset Mrs. Vani? Um, Mr. Lu, I am not sure that I can coax other women out of anger, but as for Mrs. Vani, you can bet on me. To participate in the Royal Crown Design Competition as the dream of many jewelry designers. Many people try away their whole lives, but fail to participate in it. Bring the negotiation team. Go negotiate with the Lins. No matter what it takes, we must get the qualification to host the design competition. Mr. Lu, according to your status, you could just ask the Lins for some invitation letters. Why do you buy the qualification to host it? How about I give you my status? No, no, no. I'm heading to handle it now. Chop, chop. Mr. Zhao, the secretary of Johnson's financial group, is visiting our company. Everybody gets out to greet him. Now, faster. I heard Mr. Zhao is coming over to deliver the invitation letter. If you can get in this competition, you can even design your ways for royal mobilities. If I could just get a glimpse inside, I would be content my entire life. Mrs. Vani, this is your invitation letter from the headquarters. I... I have limited experience. I am afraid. Don't worry. You deserve it. Mrs. Vani, you definitely deserve it. No one is better than you. Mr. Liu cost billions of money to buy the qualification of the competition from the Lin Group, just in case you can take participate in it. Vani, help! Dad was kidnapped. Hurry up! Bring the money to save me. 
<laughs> Let me go. Where is my money? When do you plan to repay the 100,000 yuan gambling debt you owe me? My daughter said she would be here soon. I just called her. Right, my son-in-law has money. I will repay you money. I will kill you if I can't get my money back today. Help! Here is your money. Miss Nancy! There is 200,000 yuan in this car. Leave him to me. And you? Go away. You're good, Mr. Shu. You've made a valuable connection. Come and play often. Let's go. Thanks. What, what? What is this about? Old bastard, my help comes with conditions. Tomorrow, you should give me your daughter's maquettes for the competition. You use me to? Harm Vani. No, I won't do that. That's okay. I have ways to get the maquettes. The question is, your life is in risk. Mr. Lu, how come you're here? I work here. I host this activity, so I kind of work here. Funny, you are here finally. So Mr. Lu is here to wait for Nancy? Bitch, John actually spent billions just to buy the qualification of the competition from our winger to make you happy. Tonight, I will definitely kick you out of Cloud City. I got you the thing you want. After it's done, I will find a way to get you back to Cloud City. No thanks. All I want is to see Fonny end up worse than me. Fonny, you ended my career in jewelry fun. But you didn't see the same thing came upon three years old. This upcoming Royal Crown in Cloud City Jewelry Design Competition is about to begin. Now, all the designers who participated in this competition, please hand in your maquettes. The winners will directly add fans to the final of Royal Crown Design Competition and become famous all over the world. Why are you hesitating? Are you hesitating because the maquettes may be plagiarized and you feel guilty? Thanks, sir. How come you're here? Uh, surprised? Right, you are a well-known jewelry designer. And I am a blacklisted and disgraced designer. I'm not supposed to be here. I enjoyed a few good days you have left. What do you mean? You will soon be a shameless designer just like me. No, you will be worse than me. Isn't this the designer who plagiarized Mrs. Vani's work and was kicked out of Cloud City? Why is she here? This voting for this design competition is officially underway. The drawings showed here range from number 1 to 4. Please vote for your favorite one and please vote into the corresponding ballot box. The one with the highest votes will be the champion of this competition. He even set up a betting game. Never thought a man I casually came up with would gain some popularity. I should have thought it could be. Mr. Liu! Guess which one among those is from Mrs. Vani? I guess you don't know. I know. Mrs. Vani is the prestigious online designer goes by the name Ailey. You don't browse the internet, so you don't know. The voting is over. The champion Macad is number four. Congratulations to Mrs. Vani for becoming the winner of this competition. I forgot to change my name. That doesn't count. She pledged rest. The Macat's funny submitted was plagiarized for mine. This is a bracelet I designed abroad last year, which is exactly the same as Fonny's. Mr. Lou, this is weird. I want you to figure it out in five minutes. Yes. No way. How is it possible that they are exactly the same? 
How do you explain this, Miss Funny? A fake is a fake. Even if it's praise, it can't stand up the scrutiny. I advise you to admit it and get out of jewelry business. Get out! Get out! Don't you hear it? Get out! I didn't plagiarize. Huh. Didn't plagiarize? As the daughter of the Lin group. Is there any reason for me to frame you? Can you provide evidence? Who would believe it? Get, Get out. out! Get out! Get, Get out! out. Get, Get out. out! Get, Get out. out! Get out! Boss, I found a suspicious woman around Mrs. Bonnie before the competition. This woman might be the perpetrator. Lock all the way out. Go to the surveillance room. Be quick! Everyone, lock the exit! The others comb through everything. If you find any suspect, seize her immediately. You! I am the manager of the headquarters of Johnson's Financial. Did you find her? Mr. Liu. She is the suspicious person around Mrs. Vani who was kicked out of Cloud City by your order for bullying Mrs. Vani. Find her. Yes, I'm off to catch her. Mr. Liu. Well, are you the one who made Fonny's bracelet? It's me. So what? It costs time to make a product out of maquettes. How did you get the maquettes in advance? <laughs> Let me go! Who are you? Why do the people from Johnson Financial Group follow your orders? There's no need for you to know. <sighs> Fonny sent you here, right? You want to help Fonny? I won't say a word. Then this is your last chance for you to say a word. Uh, fine! Jack, it's funny Lozy gambling that. He stole the maquettes, so I got time to make a product. Go ahead! Catch him! Fonny's name is still Inamad. <laughs> Mr. Lu, bring him over in a moment. It is the world's richest person, the CEO of the Johnson Financial Group. I trust her. Get, Get out! out! Get, Get out! out! I trust her. Who the hell are you? Nancy gave us the solid evidence your trust is fucking useless. The evidence is solid? John, I know you care a lot about Pony, but what's done is done. You can't cover for her. Mr. Lu, that's not true. I know the truth. Don't worry. Bring him in. Dad. Dad, don't you say that you were kidnapped and asked me to save you with money? How did you come back on your own? If I waited for you, my finger would have been cut off. Right? I am thirsty. Pour me a glass of water. Can't you just quit gambling? What else can I do but gambling? I don't have a son, and my whole life was here for your mom. But to the end, I still can't move her. Quit gambling. I'd rather die. Whatever you like. Dad, what are you looking for? No, nothing. Just do some exercises. Take some water and relax. Okay, okay. I am hungry. Why don't you make some food for me? Okay. It was my dad who stole my cat. I'm willingly to give up my chance to compete. Miss Nancy, I'm willingly to give up my chance to compete. I hope you would let it go. Mr. Mm -hmm. this matter is over. I can't watch my dad get arrested. Fortunately, I use Jack as a handle in advance. So, what can she do even if she finds evidence? I don't believe she could abandon her dad. Since Mrs. Fawny gave up her qualification for competition, then I will not pursue the matter further. This matter is over.
Hmm. I've never heard of an abuser not going after someone. Isn't Miss Nancy ashamed to say that? Even Miss Funny has already admitted. Mr. Lu, do you have any more evidence? We'll see if there's any evidence. Bring her in. Mr. Lu, I told you I'm out of the game. I don't care if you flirt with your first love. But please stay out of my business. I want you to respect me. It is her. Steal maquettes. Deliberately frame people. Lisa? I don't believe she could abandon her dad. Since Mrs. Fawny gave up her qualification for the competition, then I will not pursue the matter further. This matter is over. Nonsense! It's not her! It's Fawny's dad! Oh? How do you know she wasn't the one who stole the maquettes? Are you the one behind this? Nancy, I'd advise you to think before you talk. Not me. I didn't. It was you who forced Jack to steal the maquettes and frame Fanny. You know she is kind. Even if the matter is revealed, there will be no consequence. Just need to quit the game, Nancy. You're good. Aren't you afraid I'm gonna make the little bit bankrupt? John, I can explain. I just want Fanny to quit. I want her to leave you. No more dirty tricks. If I find out you're making another move on her. I'll be rude to you. You have to explain to them. Okay. I'll tell the truth. It's her. It's Lisa. She's jealous of Miss Fonny. She forced me and Mr. Shu to steal my cats. Then identified Fonny flag gear up. Fonny's innocent. It's all this woman's fault. She's the one to blame. She was jealous of Mrs. Fonny. She asked me and Mr. Shu to steal the my cats. What if I should have killed her right there, once and for all? What did Mr. Lu say to Nancy? Why did she suddenly change her words? Is that the end of it? Apologize to her. Don't forget what you promised me before the competition. Huh. Apologize to her? Who is she? I am the Lin Group's daughter. The Lin Group? Nancy, you used me to trick Vani to come to the scene. Do you believe that I will destroy the Lin group in a minute? Go! <laughs> Sorry, I misunderstood you. And the last time I threatened John with suicide, he didn't dump you because of me. Are you satisfied? Bitch, just wait and see. Let's congratulate Vani of Jinghai Jewelry Franchise. Won the first prize in the Cloud City Jewelry Design Competition. Skip the test to enter the Royal Crown Design Competition. Let's wait and see. Expectant Nova, Vani. Sorry, I misunderstood you. Don't say sorry. I'm actually the one who should apologize. I have wronged you. I promise I won't do it again. Mr. Lu, I'm a little unsure. Are you really just an ordinary clerk? Funny, don't get ahead of yourself. I tell you, John will be mine sooner or later. You don't even know who he is. You're not a good match for him. I'm telling you, he doesn't love you. When he was a kid, when he was sick, when he was in danger, it was me who saved him. And then he had a manic episode. And it was painful. I was also there for him. You're just a substitute for me. He just can't divorce you because of the loose discipline. I advise you to be wiser. Stay away from him. Was it really you who saved him? I don't think so. What does Mrs. Vani mean by saying that? Isn't Nancy the one who saved the Mr. Lu? What do you mean? Nothing. I just want you to know that Mr. Lu is not an object to be felt over. I won't argue with you. You don't have to take it personally. Vani. Go home. Funny. You made me do it. Our next month. After Madame's birthday party, 
I want to let all the people of Cloud City to witness the fall of Vani in three days. Mr. Liu, when I came out of the competition today, I heard Mrs. Vani was talking with Ms. Nancy. It seems that Mrs. Liu suspected that the person who saved you was not Nancy. Are you listening, Mr. Liu? Hello? Uh, go in and investigate first. Well... Are you busy? Huh? No. I'm not busy. Thank you for today. You saved my dad and cleared my name. How are you gonna thank me? Why are you hiding from me? Are you shy that I'll kiss you? No, I'm not. Did you do that with Nancy? No, nothing happened between us. Trust me. Miss Nancy is here. She is here. here. Miss Nancy. 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 Do you have any new plans for your return this time, Miss Nancy? Miss Nancy. 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 Please answer our question. Miss Nancy. Nancy. Please, Please answer, answer our, our question. question. This is my first public appearance since I'm back. Thank you all for coming. But the main purpose of my visit is for Madame Lou's birthday. So please, then ask me about irrelevant topics. Miss Nancy, a few days ago, you revealed on the social platform that you will attend a birthday party of Madame Lou as the fiancé of the CEO of the Lou Group. Are you going to get married? It is said that you were not invited to Madame Lou's birthday party today. Do you have anything to say? Hmm, the same time. Then we have to ask why Miss Fonny interferes with my relationship with John. Interferes? Me? Mistress, it's her. I know her. She is a small staff member of Johnson's financial group. She pulled a dirty trick. She is the mistress. Funny. A woman with no background. What are you gonna fight? The daughter of the richest man in Clausity? What mistake did I make? Funny. Didn't you steal John while I was studying abroad? John and I were friends when we were kids. You're the bitch who took him away from me. I think you got it wrong. As for the marriage between Mr. Lu and I, each of us take what we need, and there's no ascendancy. <laughs> each of you take what you need? What does John need from you? He needs your poverty? He needs you who hasn't seen the eleven? Or your family to drag on him? Miss Nancy, not everything can be measured in money. Ah, oh, you are such a hypocrite. You went all out to marry a rich man, and now you're here pretending to be so innocent. Funny. Why don't you look at how bitchy you are? A loser mother lying in her bed. A lousy gambling dad. If you hadn't tried so hard to marry into a rich family, I'm afraid your family would have starved to death. I advise you to speak with me some respect. Ugh. Enough respect for you? Kick her out. Kick her mistress. out. Mistress. mistress. Kick her out. Kick her out. Shut up. I see who dares to tell my granddaughter-in-law to get off the loose. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Grandma. Don't be afraid. Grandma's here. Attention, please. This is my granddaughter-in-law of the loose I invited. Who do you think you are there to bully my granddaughter-in-law in front of me? Are you bullying the loose? Huh? I think you're muddle-headed. She's is a poor family. Do you have to break up John and me for her? In terms of family status, only I can match him. Family status? Of all the families who can match the loose. Just the richest man in the Cloud City is a piece of shit in my eyes. <gasps> you... Miss Nancy, I don't know how you explained to John that he thought it was I who kicked you out of Cloud City and forced you to leave him. But back then, it was you who forced me to give you money. You old bitch, you talk nonsense. Go to hell. Ah! Ah! Grandma, Grandma, call a doctor, hurry up. Doctor, call a doctor, hurry up. Funny, if you hate me, then hate me. Why did you push grandma? Oh, funny, if you hate me, then hate me. Why did you have to push grandma? Not me. I was going to help grandma. It's you. I saw it with my eyes. No, I didn't do that. I don't know what happened. It seemed... Don't quibble. I saw it myself. If it wasn't you, why did grandma and I fall down? Mr. Lu, you don't believe me either? I don't know. But uh, when I got here, I saw that you pushed them. I'll take her to the hospital first. We'll talk about it later. Even you don't believe me. Mr. Lu! Oh, John, I'm in so much pain. 
You still so want to fight me? I've never missed anything anymore. Mr. Lu, let's divorce. You old bitch, you are tough. You are still right. Then, you can't blame me for giving you another right. For the good of me and your precious cousin, don't wake up. Huh? John, trust me. I'm here to visit Grandma. You have to trust me. It must be that bitch funny. Biz Nancy. What Mr. Lou means is that you bribed the guests at the party to incite others to bully Mrs. Vonnie and poured wine on her. Isn't it obvious whether Mr. Lou trusts you or Mrs. Vonnie? Why else would he have gone to the trouble of setting you up? John, I only did it to get you back from her. We're the perfect couple for each other. When I was forced to go broke by your grandma, I suffered the pain of imprisonment and Vonnie swooped in and stole you. No, nothing bad happened to Vonnie. The murderer is clearly her. <laughs> Grandma, are you awake? How did the lynx rise a scum like you? You're the one who pushed me. It was you who saw his illness get worse and left him to go broke. Now that he has recovered from his illness, you want to come back and take him away? <laughs> you want to marry John? Let me tell you. No way! John, listen to me. I never left you. You know me best. I've always loved you the most, or I wouldn't have hesitated to save you. Nancy, when I was in a car accident, I had just returned to China. I had never seen you before. When did you fall in love with me? I guess you weren't the one who saved me. You go and find out. I want the whole truth in three days, okay? John, that's not what I meant. Listen to me. Fonny is a bitch. She just wants your identity. She wants your money. Don't let her fool you. She doesn't even know who you are. I can't believe she wanted to accuse Fonny. You go and cox Fonny back. If you can't cox her back, don't come back. Okay. As long as there's no mistress. There's still room for redemption. Mr. Liu, divorce agreement. Mrs. Vani just had it delivered. Mrs. Vonnie is really sad this time. Mr. Lou, you're gonna be dumped. Get the car ready. Don't come back until you get her back. Okay. Mr. Lou, latest news? The Ministry of Information has checked it out. The person who saved you in the car accident is not Nancy, but Mrs. Vonnie. She took you to the hospital and left Nancy. Also happened to be in the hospital. That's why you woke up and saw her next to you. Mrs. Vani, the boss cares about you. Mm. I accidentally spilled the beans. It's over. I forget that. Mrs. Vani doesn't know the identity of Mr. Lou. <laughs> Mr. Lou is a straight man. He's climbing the stairs. If you don't believe me, just wait. Alas, just wait a minute. He'll be here any minute. Just a minute. Ah! Oh, mouse. Ah! Hey, Mrs. Vani. Boss believes it's not you. He has set Nancy up. Let's wait what Nancy will do. Mr. Lou, I have to as much as I can. I don't dare drag Mrs. Vonnie back with me. Darling, sorry. Let me go. Vonnie, listen to me. I didn't disbelieve you. It was an emergency, and the more I tried to protect you without evidence, the more they were after you. Is that why you left me with Nancy? No, Vonnie, I was just trying to take the blame off for you, but I didn't disbelieve you. Darling, sorry. Let me go. It's my fault. 
I have wronged you, but I didn't disbelieve you. It was an emergency. The more I trusted you unconditionally and without evidence, the more they were going to go after you. That's why I did what I could do, to protect you. That's why you took Nancy and left me. Vani, I was just trying to take the blame off for you, but I didn't disbelieve you. I know you don't disbelieve me, but Nancy saved your life. She's your savior. This is a fact. It's like a thorn between us. I don't want to be mad at her every time. I'm tired. You're the one who saved me. What? I just found out the truth. I gave my gratitude to the wrong person. You were the one who saved me. Me? Are you sure? Yes. Bonnie. Fortunately, there is time. You haven't left me yet. You can punish me whatever you want, but don't divorce me. How many times did you run away from home? That's because you abandoned me first. Never again. I never thought you'd be the one who saved me. When I heard the news, I couldn't wait to appear in front of you. Do you know how scared I was? I'm really afraid of losing you again. Again? When was the first time? It was when you protected me. That I decided to leave. Mom! 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 If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't probably meet you. No wonder Grandma said we were meant to be together. By the way, last time Grandma told me the Nancy saved you, I felt a little familiar because I saved a boy when I was a kid. I didn't have any money, so I dropped him off at the hospital. Then you're at loss. All I have is money. It doesn't matter. You're all mine now. Mr. Lu, who you are? The whole Johnson's Financial Group is mine. Who do you think I am? The CEO of Johnson's Financial Group. The richest man in the world that everyone wants to marry, right here, with me. The richest man in the world, the CEO of Johnson's Financial Group, will come to our company. It's supposed to be about Royal Crown Design Competition. Really? How is that possible? I don't think so. How could the richest man in the world care about a little design competition? Maybe he's doing it for someone. If it were for me... Alas, how is that possible? Stop dreaming. Mr. Lu is married, and his wife is me. Hm. After former director Jason was fired, I have been in charge of Jinghai Jewelry Franchise. So far, we have the best team of designers in Cloud City. Ahem. <clears throat> you, come to my office. Bonnie will be fired for sure. Hmm, it's her so right. She's so blind to the situation. You are right. She knew the boss was coming today. Come in. You're not doing this right. Yes, it's really not as good in the bedroom. I tell you in advance, you can't tell anyone about our relationship. I don't want people to think that I'm relying on connection to get to the top and ignore my talent. It turns out my wife likes to go underground. It is so exciting. Mr. Lu! Oh! Come in! Uh, Mr. Lu, the headquarters security system was attacked. 
and a large amount of customer information was leaked out. Mr. Liu, there is a beggar claiming to have an appointment with you. He broke into your office. Ms. Nancy, I think you'll need me. So I came uninvited. You are Chad, who was kicked out of Cloud City by Cha. Huh. What can you do? Get out now. Don't worry, Ms. Nancy. Hmm. You pushed Madame Lou and was kicked out by John in public. He made you lose face and he also stopped your project. Don't you want revenge? Well, I stayed in Johnson's financial group for 10 years. I know where his loopholes are. I have a way to get him bankrupted. At that time, John could only kneel down and beg you to change your mind. The security department is currently unable to lock the IP address of the enemy. The enemy seems to know our security system very well. They're targeting thin spots. They invade very fast. Our system is full of bugs. How long does it take to make up? Three days. It will take three days at least. How much was our loss? I can't tell right now. At least a hundred billion yuan. Go and investigate the Lin Group. Whatever the outcome is, just put pressure on the Lin Group. Let's get them in disorder first. Okay. Dismissal of staff in security department. Keep a close eye on them. If you find anyone suspicious, take them Lay in. Lay by trouble for the future. Induce bad people to carry out activities and expose them. Mr. Liu, you are... Thank you all for your hard work. Let's end it today. Go back and recharge your batteries. Fight again tomorrow. Wait a minute, John. You have been suspended. Please accept our survey. Someone anonymously reports that you are suspected of tax evasion automatic emergency security of the Board of Directors and Supervision Bureau. You are ordered to be suspended for investigation. Uh-huh. Really? Please cooperate with our investigation. Don't make unnecessary struggles. I cooperate. How do you want to investigate? Detain the car, seize the house, freeze working capital, auction capitalized product. What do you think of my ideas? Are you satisfied with the ideas I've come up for you? You have so much leverage, so many enemies, and now someone got you. Representative of the board of directors, don't talk too much. Only the evidence in hand is the handle. Just say it with your mouth. This is called slander. Who would have thought the richest man in the world have to cook for his wife when he got home from work? Would you hate me if I ran out of money? You didn't have any money when I met you. That's different. I had money, but I didn't tell you before. I don't have money for real right now. We could get kicked out. No house. No deposit. It's okay. You still have me. Good news. In the Royal Crown Design Competition, my design was voted number one by the public. There will be extra points in the finals. When I'm a world-famous designer, I'll take care of you. Dinner time. Have a taste. How is it? What's wrong with you? Mm. What's the matter? I don't know. I feel uncomfortable in my stomach lately. It was the same at dinner with Mr. Lu yesterday. Could you be pregnant? Huh? Maybe not. You take it out. I can take care of myself. Don't worry. You check first. Hurry up. Mrs. Fonny, congratulations. You're pregnant. Get some rest when you get back. I'm actually pregnant. Mr. Lu must be happy to know. About the cancellation of Mr. Lu's proposal, the board of directors unanimously passed. From now on, you will not interfere in any of the affairs of Johnson's financial group. Do you want to be traitors? You forget that the predecessor of the Johnson's financial group was the Lu Group's enterprise, which was established by Lord Lu. Some of you are traitors. I advise him to put his tail between his legs and hide it. And if I pull it out, don't blame me. Mr. Liu, the last few days you've been suspended. The Lin Group investigation has been difficult, and the company's decisions are stacked against you. I think it will soon affect Mrs. Bonnie after all.
the Royal Crown Design Competition she participated. In this period is a hot spot. We are in the sensitive period. You should tell Mrs. Vani in advance so that she has a preparation. You're not allowed to smoke anymore. Let's divorce. Oh. I wonder who it is. Hmm. It seems to be useful to be a gentleman. You hooked with CEO. The wife of CEO. Right? Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. It's supposed to be, um, the wife of the former CEO. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, don't you know? John has gone bankrupt. All his assets have been frozen. He is now a beggar with nothing. You won't be happy for long. I'm going to play you first. <laughs> it's impossible. He's the founder of the Johnson's Financial Group. You did it, right? No wonder Mr. Rose suddenly asked for the divorce. Because there's something wrong with the company. He did not want to involve me. Who helped you back to Cloud City? Nancy? Yolin? Do you want to know that? Maybe? I will tell you. If you serve me comfortable... Ah! You didn't learn that lesson last time, did you? That's why. I came back. For revenge. Isn't this Mr. Lu's secret wife? What are you doing? Oh, Miss Bonnie and I, um, we catch up, right? Catch up. Catch up? You should ask Mr. Lin why he's harassing me. Miss Sue, you were there the last time Chad was kicked out of Cloud City. Now that he's suddenly back, aren't you suspicious? Chad said that he was trying to return to Cloud City for me. What do you want to say? For you? I can't believe you believe this crap. He's there for- Mrs. Vani! Hmm. You dumped me because I was poor. And now, you're badmouthing me in front of people I like. Are you trying to tear us apart? Huh? I tear you apart? Why would I? Mrs. Vani, the past is the past, okay? All right. We're getting married tomorrow. As an ex-girlfriend, don't be absent. Mrs. Vani must remember to come. Yolin does not know what kind of person Chad is. So who brought him back to Cloud City? Did he cling up to Nancy? Hmm. Mrs. Vani, Mr. Liu had no choice. I was under orders. Maybe. You should just sign it. He was removed from his position, right? He forced me to divorce so it wouldn't have an influence on my competition. I know. I won't sign the divorce agreement. I'd rather give up the competition. Mr. Chow, are you free tomorrow? Huh? Go and crash a wedding with me. Please put the ring on the bride's finger. I'm afraid! Mrs. Vani disagrees. Huh? That's the secretary of Johnson Financial Group. The Shu Group never do anything to offend John's the financial group. What do you mean? It's me. You shouldn't be fooled by him. He's such an asshole. He cheated me for money at the blind date. He sexually harassed me at the workplace, so he was kicked out of Cloud City by Mr. Liu. Now he colluded with someone to slander Mr. Liu. Bullshit! You seduced me at the moment of John's downfall. But I turned you down. So you hold a grudge and ruin my wedding, don't you? <sighs> me is funny. We've been known each other for a long time. I think that I know him very well. He lied to you. He aims to cheat innocent girls like you. He pretends to be very gentle outside, but actually he's such an asshole inside. Bullshit! Bonnie, you bitch! You just want to ruin me, don't you? Trust me, she's rancorous when she sees we are getting married. Oh, Chad, shame on you. Between you and Mr. Lu, I'll marry Mr. Lu without hesitation. I can't set you up for no reason. You! Miss Oni, about that sexual harassment, do you have any evidence? Of course! It happened at this place. Get someone to check surveillance footage. You'll see that Chad drugged me and tried to rap me. Hey! I can explain. That's because she seduced me first. So you? No, I didn't. 
I swear that I love you so much. And I never cheat on you. She seduced me first. She's the one to be blamed. Chat, you're just shooting your mouth off. You do like to set people without any proof, do you? You, go to hell! Boss, we checked the monitor, it's true. <sighs> Chat, I'll give you another chance to explain this. Why were you kicked out of Cloud City by Johnson's financial burn? Why do you come back now? Who's behind you? Tell me. What? Oh, honey, don't believe her. She lied to you. Trust me. So it's Nancy. You! Security! Security! Go and get her! Otherwise, your boss will be dead! Be quick! Bonnie, you bitch! You kicked me out of Cloud City! I came back and hooked with Yalin by all means. But you! You ruined my wedding! You give me a hard time! Don't try to get over it! You'll be dead now! Bitch! Get your people! Take her! Move it up! Chet, I can't believe that you are such a person. You bastard! <laughs> bastard! If I'm bastard, what kind of thing are you? What about the baby in your belly? Son of a bitch! Let go of me! <laughs> Chat, calm down. Calm down. Let go of me, Sue. Don't hurt her. I don't want you to be dead, too. As long as you tell me who's behind you, I assure you that no one will give you a hard time. Stop dreaming! I will make John die with me! Just wait and see. You bitch. You'll be dead soon. <laughs> Hide behind a woman. Beat him up. Come on. Ah. Who dares? Scumbag. Ah. Bonnie. You will be dead soon. Drag him out. Bonnie. Mrs. Vani, thanks to you, we can find out this mole. Mr. Lou will find out that who's behind this, and he will be back to Johnson's financial group. I told you to keep a low profile. You'd better stay down. Mr. Lou, we've already cleaned up your office. Well, I'd say you're a young man who is sharp-sighted to tell the traitor among us. And at the key moment, Secretary Zhao caught Chad to exonerate you. It's not like us. We were all fooled by the Board of Directors and Supervision Bureau. Mr. Liu, the traitor of the Board of Directors and Supervision Bureau has been found out, but there was no suspect associated with him. In addition, the false news that you asked me to spread. We had caught the traitor in the Ministry of Information. I have already spread out half an hour ago. Shut down all elevators and secure all exits. He won't get out of the company safely unless he jumps off the building. Yes, sir. Be honest, you almost got Mr. Lou divorced. You're guilty as hell. Mr. Lou, please spare me. I was wrong. I'll tell you everything. Uh, it's, it's a guy named Chad. He made me do that. He said that the Lin Group would hire me as the director of the Minister of Information after it was done. I just got muddle-headed. The Lin Group? Go and call Nancy and hold a board meeting. Now I announce, Mr. Liu, the world's richest man and CEO of Johnson's Financial Group. The meeting of justice officially gets started. Ladies and gentlemen, kneel and listen. Kneel and listen? John is too arrogant. What's up, everybody? Shall I say it again? You asshole! You've gone too far! When Lord Lou was alive, he didn't do this to us. You've gone too far. I don't care how Grandpa treated you. But if you want to work for me, you must be obedient. I pay you thousands of billions yuan a year not to trip me up. If you want to contend with me, that's okay. But who is responsible for the huge losses you cost of the company? It's him or you guys. If you're tired of being comfortable, 
Don't blame me for pushing you hard. Bravo! Such a marvelous intimidation. It's really marvelous. But I don't understand. Why did you invite me to attend the annual meeting of Johnson Financial Group? Miss Nancy, help me. I did it on your instruction. That was so wrong of me. If you said that, all I did was buy you some coffee. I can't bear to see you say bad things about him behind your back. You said he was a heartless man, and I comforted you with a few words. Well, here's the video recording. You fooled me. You don't even admit what Chad did for you. What? I don't even know him. Mr. Liu, what should I do? The woman denied it. She didn't identify Chad. Our chain of evidence is broken. Break an arm to survive. I would like to know how many arms does Miss Nancy have. I also want to know how long can you keep the intimidation. To find out, all of his transactions, all suspected violations, are made public. I want him to spend the rest of his life in prison. I know some of you remain unconvinced, but today is just the beginning. If I find out anyone later, he will be like him. Mr. Liu, Mrs. Vani is really clever. She took me to mess up Chad's wedding. That the woman revealed her true nature. Uh, Mr. Liu, where are you going? Pick up my wife. Vani, do you want to work or not? If don't, just get out. Take three or four days off a week. Don't you think this is a daycare center? Sorry, I've got a family problem. Only you have a family? No one else does? Originally, you'd be fired. Since you are married and childless, I'm the one who took you in. But you're not getting any better. Well, that's right. She's married to an incompetent man. She's not destined to be a full-time wife, but she dare not work hard. Morals that married and childless people should be fired. Do you know you're breaking the law? Go out and see for yourself. Which company will hire you? How dare you lay off my person? Mr. Liu, I know we always take great care of our staff. But Vani, she's so outrageous. She has been on leave. Even other staff said that. She married an incompetent man. So you gotta look like you're making money out here. That's too outrageous. You, why do you ask for leave? The day before yesterday, she went to the hospital, and yesterday she was at a wedding. Why did you go to the hospital? What's wrong with you? I'm pregnant, and I did a B ultrasound. Pregnant? Come out with me. What's your step? You don't have to be so careful. Thank you. Thank you for being so nice and love me so much. Well, in that case, Mr. Lu owes me two lives. Does that mean you can book the rest of your life? Let's go home. Get out! You lousy gambler! Be a man, please! I'm not a man. I do have a wife. But I have no children. What's the point of living if you don't let me gamble? What did you promise me when I married you? Law for me like your own daughter? But now, you blame me? I thought as long as I'm kind to you. Eventually, I can open your heart and accept me. But you, you always live in the past. Did you instigate the divorce between Vani and Mr. Liu? Because your own last marriage was not happy. You saw no one is happy. You, get up. Get out of here. Get up. Vani, you came to see mom too? Dad, is it true what my mom said? I'm not your biological daughter? Don't worry, I'll always be there. And the baby in your belly, we are all your family.
Mom, I'm here for the maternity checkup and also come to see you. Well, I'm fine. You go about your business. Jean, check it for me. Who is Miss Fanny's biological father? Don't tell anyone after the investigation. <gasps> it's just a competition, right? Look at her, so pretentious. Did she want everyone to know she's gonna enter the crown design competition? But it's so dark with the lights off. She's pregnant. What if she falls? Did you see how the CEO found out she was pregnant that day? He dragged her out and probably pre-mitted her. My wife is pregnant. How do you think I'm gonna react? Uh, Mr. Lu? Get out. You don't need to come tomorrow. <sighs> we, we have offended the wife of the world's richest man, right? Why aren't you back yet? I'm worried about you. The sign competition will get started in two days. Although the public voted me the first place, I'm still a little worried. For me, this competition is really important. I have to bring out my best work and win the chance to design the royal crown. I trust you, and you can do it. A bunch of junk. A bunch of junk. It's a shame that I didn't even hurt John after my careful planning. Not to mention that loser phony. Miss Nancy, we still have a chance. For what? Chad worked in Jinghai City for so long but failed. But have you forgotten the Royal Crown Design Competition will get started in two days? Isn't Vani always trying to get a crown design qualification so that she can become a world-famous designer? <sighs> oh yeah. I can take away the championship. Thank you for your support and attention to the Royal Crown Design Competition. In this period, I'd like to announce that the winner will be one of the two famous designers on the stage. We'll find out who is the winner. Funny, stop dreaming. I've never missed what I want. That's not certain. You won Mr. Wu, but he's mine now. Now I announce the winner of this competition is Miss Nancy. Why? Funny, this is just the beginning. I'm gonna take what you want little by little. Nancy, market locked. He's one of the judges. Judge you? Have a drink? What does Miss Nancy want from me? What I want is a crown design qualification. Did you record it? Yes, I did. There were five of them. But it's not safe to get one. Am I stupid enough to need reminding? Go to the great hotel of Jinghai City. Catch Dalder. Yes. Ms. Nancy, what can I do for you? I'm going to win the crown design competition. Pick one. Money? Or I send out the video. You're threatening me. Do I need that money? I know you're rich, but you fucked a male model to death. Of course. Money is good. M money doesn't make you a bastard. Fine. You just go on. I'll pay your bill. Goodbye. Ms. Nancy, Lord Lin has bribed Judge Wan. And according to your orders, one more has gone to pick up his daughter in kindergarten. We have four tickets now. It's perfect. Funny. This time, funny. I'll see how you win. The design competition ended successfully. Congratulations to Miss Nancy for winning the design competition. She's the bright star in the design world.
I'm useless, right? You've done well. I didn't protect you well. Let's go to the banquet first. I'll do you justice. Let's go. Mr. Lu. Go ahead and wait for me. I'll be with you soon. Then I'll go first. Last time, when you asked me to find out about Mrs. Vani's biological father, it involved Nancy. I found the man you asked me to find. Good. Bring him in. Next, the mayor would like to present the prize to the champion, Ms. Nancy. Mrs. Vonnie is so young and promising, the fashion world will need you to lead it in the future. Mayor, I work so hard to win. Actually, I do everything for someone. Mayor, please grant the marriage of John, the CEO of Johnson Financial Group, and me. John and I grew up together. As childhood sweethearts, I love him so much. But when I came back a few years later, we were interrupted by Fonny. John can't get divorced because of the loose family rules, but Fonny keep pestering John and set me up in front of him many times. Now, I'm going to tell everyone these things here one by one. I hope Fonny can put herself in the right place. And Don Middle in my relationship with John. She's lying. It's Vonnie who married Mr. Lou first. Vonnie, can't you ask Mr. Lou to say something for you? Dad, she's the daughter of the Lin Group. Don't offend her in public. The Lin Group? Is he Larry Lin? John, we grew up together. I can't believe you don't love me. As long as you promise, I'll give everything for you. Even the Lin Group, I'll give it to you. Last time, the leakage of customer information had a bad influence on Johnson's financial group. Many top customers have consulted their contracts. Even company stocks has fallen again and again, and the shareholders are constantly exerting pressure on him. I don't believe he won't be moved. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Nancy has a strong affection. It happens to the Lou group, got into trouble some time ago, and needs a strong foreign aid, like Ms. Nancy. So, Mr. Lou, think it over. How about you two team up and make a great marriage? Mr. Lou, is he moved? You don't have the right to make this decision, because you're not Larry's biological daughter. I... I'm sure she's not Larry's biological daughter. <sighs> you old asshole. You can mess with your food, but you can't mess with your words. If you talk any more nonsense, I'll get someone to throw you out. I'm not talking nonsense. Although I promised Jane that I wouldn't let Vonnie know who is her biological father. I can't watch my daughter's husband be snatched by someone else. And Mr. Lou is the richest man in the world. There's no better ideal son-in-law than Mr. Lou. Because my wife is Larry's ex-wife. It's Jane. She was pregnant before I married her. After the baby was born, we raised her with us and didn't send her back to the Lins. You're talking nonsense. Security, throw the fucking old asshole out of here. Wait. Mr. Liu, as you ordered, I've brought Nancy's biological mother, Cindy Liu. Bring her in. Yes. Nancy, I've warned you many times. Don't be mean to Vonnie. You don't take it seriously. You've challenged my bottom line over and over again. Then don't blame me for being impolite. Go ahead. Tell everything you know. You heartless bitch. You've become the richest man's daughter. And you want to kick out your own mother? You... Have you ever thought about how you became the daughter of the richest man in Cloud City? Back then, if it wasn't for me, you'd just be a slave bitch. Now, I don't think you should have gotten divorced at that time. Now, you don't have to go around to look for your ex-wife and kid. Do you think I want to divorce? We had been married for five or six years, and we had no kids. I tried everything. I have a child. 
child even the fortune teller told me, to find an adopt son with the right birth date. And I did it, but she was still not pregnant. Huh. I had no choice. I thought I could find a woman to have a son. The Lin's lineage can't be cut off by me, alas, but I never thought she'd find it out. You know, she had a hard time getting pregnant, and she wanted to divorce and left the house with nothing. I won't help you. Go and find them yourself. Hey, 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 hey! If it weren't for the fact that my current wife gave birth to a couple of sons, and I want a daughter to marry your grandson, I won't find her. Hey, Nancy, do you want to be rich or not? You don't have to work and have plenty of money. You live in a villa and you have a lot of servants. That people just now is Larry from the Lean Group, right? Do you mean to make me his daughter? But how do I prove I'm his daughter? I want to be his daughter, but he won't believe me. I'll find a way for you. Come on, my girl. Our good times are coming. Dad, is this the sister you found? She looks like a fake. Don't say that. Nancy, uncle, no. Tell me, how is your relationship with John? I saved John's life when I was a kid. He told me he would repay me in the future. Well, from now on, you and John should get closer. When you grow up, Daddy will help you to marry him. Mm-hmm. Don't stand there. Come on, have a seat. From now on, you're my daughter. Your last name will be Lynn. Your name is Nancy. And this is your brother, Leon. No, I'm not her brother. Shut up. Nancy did a DNA test. She's really my daughter. From now on, be nice to your sister. I got it. The point is, it doesn't matter if she's our daughter or not. She's close to John, and so she can marry the John. Your brother was right. He brought you back to marry into the lose in the future. If you can marry into the lose, then, you're still the daughter of the richest man in Cloud City. Anything you want, you can tell me. If you can't marry into the lose, then, you lose everything you have. Women are always vain. It's ridiculous and pathetic to marry John just to become a lady. Back then, if you hadn't sent me to the Lynch, I wouldn't have been forced to marry a madman. These years, everyone is laughing at me for pastoring John. Cindy, you've been forcing me. You know very well that since he's been stimulated, he has manic episodes from time to time and falls to the ground and can't feel it. And you deliberately stimulated him and then forced me to save him. To force me to shove my words and fingers into his mouth so he could bite me. You don't care about me at all. All you know is that this would make the loose feel more guilty, and then John would marry me. You never ask me if I wanted it. You only ask for money. I hate you. Mr. Lu has suffered so much. To ask you for money? It's right that I ask you for a little money. Is it a little money you want? You're just greedy. You're threatening me. I'm sick and tired of you pushing me and threatening me over and over again. That's why I had to go broke. Would I threaten you if you didn't refuse? Yeah. You are so fully flat, and you think I'm a stain. You want to kill me. I told you, you're a delusional. I could send you into the lens back then. Then, I can pull you down now. Mom, I... I'm sorry. I know I was wrong. I won't dare to do it again. Forgive me, please. All right? It's too late. Nancy, I gave birth to you. I know your true colors. You're just an ingrate. Walk out that door, and you'll send someone to kill me. Do you think that I will believe you? You force me. You force me. <laughs> you force me. You forced me. All of you made me do it. 
Honey, are you satisfied now? You're gonna be like me. Take her away. Yes. Uh, funny, funny. You'll be like me, for sure. You'll be just like me. Don't be afraid. It won't happen. Alas, everybody, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. As for the winner, we'll have a panel of judges. Reevaluate that. Seven years ago, everyone knew that the Lou's eldest grandson, John, because he witnessed the death of his parents in a car accident, the stimulation led to his mental anomalies into a maniac. And then, to our surprise, this one who was called Madman from childhood leads the Lou group into the world's first-class financial group. And he himself also becomes the world's richest man. His ingenuity is so great, I'm afraid, this little girl can't be his good match. I didn't expect Miss Nancy to be so ruthless that she even dared to stab her mother. Thank goodness! I didn't offend her before. Alas, look, sooner or later you are still the winner. I was wrong about the design contest. Well, Vonnie, I heard from Nancy that the lens isn't a good place either. If you want to go back, we'll support you. And if you want to go back with your biological father, I won't stop you either. I don't know. Forget it. I'll just wait for the results of the evaluation. No need for reassessment. Nancy's ratings are fake. She secretly forced four judges to vote for her. I have evidence to prove it. Why are you here? You know him? Mr. Leon, are you trying to put righteousness above family loyalty? Mayor, don't joke about it. It had just been proven that Nancy wasn't the daughter of the Linz group. So how could this be called righteousness above family loyalty? I'm under my father's orders. I'm here to clear Mrs. Vonnie's name. Long time no see all hail to you, Vonnie. How dare you call her Vonnie? This is the result of the competition that my father has just urgently called in five experts to judge. Mayor, please check. All the seals of the jury are there. It's not a fake. Then, congratulations, Mrs. Vonnie, for becoming the top stream in the fashion world. I'm looking forward to your new works, and I hope Miss Vonnie will bear with me if I have offended you just now. Actually, you and Mr. Lou are a good match. Is it a good match? Why do I doubt that? It's not up to you to decide whether it's a good match or not. It's a small world. Why are we all together? And... It's a little awkward. Mayor, Bonnie and I are going to have a wedding in a couple of days. I want you to be a witness for us. Ha ha ha. I'd love to attend your wedding. Don't forget to send me an invitation. Sure. At that time, I'll have the wedding of the century. Mr. Leon, I hope you can come too. Um, well, I'll take my dad to dinner first. I can't believe we're siblings. After such a long time, God plays man. Mr. Liu, the leakage of customer information of Johnson's Financial Group. You need to fix it soon. Johnson's Financial Group is the leader of the business. If it gets in trouble, it will cause social unrest. If you can't find the man behind it, you can find a scapegoat first who appeases everyone. Hmm. It can also reduce the loss and maintain the corporate image. Mayor, don't worry about it. I'll get someone to fix it. Go and investigate Leon. I want to know everything about him. Through the efforts of everyone, from today, Jinghai Jewelry Franchise ranks among the world's top jewelry design companies. This honor comes from the efforts of all. I announce that from today, Jinghai Jewelry Franchise will be under the full control of Mrs. Fani. Ms. Nancy, you're suspected of mayhem. Please cooperate with our investigation. I didn't do it. She hit my knife herself. Take her away. Everyone saw it. I won't go. I'm the daughter of the richest man in cloud today. I want to go home. Dad? Dad? Help me, Dad? Get out. What a jeans? You want to see Lord Lin? Lord Lin said get your ass out of here.
The new lady will be back soon. Don't mess up the real daughter's place. What the hell are you? How do you talk to me like that? Take her away. Funny? Why are you here? Come to laugh at me? Mrs. Funny, you are coming. Lord Lane and the young master have been waiting for you for some time. Is this funny? <laughs> funny. You are just a poor bitch. Now you become the Lane's daughter? What kind of threats are you playing? I haven't changed. The one change is you, Miss Nancy. Stop pretending! When you get into a rich and powerful family, how will you pretend? <laughs> Shut up! Get out of here, imposter! How do you push me? Can't I push you? Do you still think you're the daughter of the Lynns? Get out! Or I'll have security to kick you out. Miss Vonnie, you are coming. Lord Lane and Master Lane are waiting for you in the lobby. Let me take you in. <gasps> Funny. Bitch, how special you think you are? You're nothing without a man. I'm waiting to see the day you will dump by John. You'll lose your fellow and get trampled. Oh, my girl's back. Chop, chop, take a seat. Take a seat. Vonnie, I know. These years, you and your mum suffered a lot. It's my fault. I'm not here to be a member of the Lynns. My stepfather is very kind to me. I won't leave him. Anyway, you and my mum are divorced. So many years have passed. I hope you won't disturb our life. Mr. Lou, for all I know, the leakage of customer information of Johnson's financial group. You haven't found strong evidence to prove that Nancy is the man behind it. You're having a rough time in the company, aren't you? Vonnie, as long as you can go back to the Lynns, then Mr. Lou and I are family. Then I will testify against Nancy to help Mr. Lou through this time of crisis. What do you think? I'll take care of the company myself. It's up to her whether she wants to go back to the Lynns or not. I'm done here, Mr. Lin. Thank you for the invitation. I hope you won't disturb my life. Vonnie! Vonnie! I have something to tell you. Yes, Leon, have a nice talk with her. Vonnie, do you really think you and John are a good match? He is the richest man! You're just Vonnie! The story of Cinderella and the prince will not appear in reality. What do you want to say? Now, the most advantageous option is to go back to the Lins. Only when you become the daughter of the Lins can you stand by John's side in a dignified way. You have changed. You didn't say things like that when you were a kid. In your opinion, lineage is the only criterion to measure the relationship, right? I'm just doing what's best for you. I don't need it. Let's go. <laughs> Too bad. The little boy is so miserable. Well, it's all fake. It's all acting. Don't believe it. But you are not fake. You were pathetic when you were a kid. I wasn't there when you were in the worst pain. I wish I hadn't left you at the hospital. It was my fault. It's all over. Don't cry. Mr. Lou. It's okay. As long as you are with me, I'm good. Go on watching the show. No. Then we... Mr. Lou, isn't this the TV show Mrs. Vonnie loves? I thought you didn't like it. So what? I like watching it now. Do you have an objection? You get way too much free time. Oh, no, I am busy. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Lou, this is the information about Leon that you asked me to investigate. He and Mrs. Vonnie have known each other since they were children. It seems that they are puppy love. But you don't have to worry. They dated for less than six months. Because half a year later, Leon was taken to the Lins by Larry. Mr. Lou, you've met your match. Boss, we find Chad. 
Mr. Lou, he's here. If you still expect Nancy will save you, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. What do you mean? It found out that Nancy is not the biological daughter of the Lynns. She stabbed her biological mother in a fury. Now she is arrested for investigation. Hmm. You're in a rush? You're in a rush, aren't you? The leakage of customer information had a bad influence on Johnson's financial group, and the stock goes down with it. But what about you, John? You've investigated for a long time, only to find out a petty employee. If it keeps going down this road, your company will come to an end sooner or later. I would like to watch you be tortured to death gradually. What's the matter? He promised to accompany me for maternity test, but he didn't even answer my phone. I will go and find him. The solution that the public relations department came up with for you must be to have those who are involved in this matter to testify against Nancy. As long as I keep my mouth shut. You're super dead, John. Let's go to hell. Together! It's Chad. Did that incident cost Johnson's financial group a lot? Mr. Rudy didn't even mention it to me. Who said I need someone to testify? Nancy has already left the public relations department. Doesn't it be better that I can just come at her? Huh. Are you swindling me? Well, you won't waste any time on me. If Nancy is easy to fix. Swindle me? You're just like Vani, that bitch! Go to hell if you want to swindle me. Take him away. Lock him up first. And find him a doctor. John! It's okay if you want me to testify against Nancy. Ask Vani to meet me. Ask her to meet me. <laughs> Leon, you're still in the mood to play? God damn it. Why is Vani so stubborn? No way. You go and find her again and talk to her. I think she has a good impression on you. Vani doesn't want to go back to the Lins. Then let it be. But you are the one who said, Nancy is useless. I should cut the loss in time and help Vonnie. Now that things are going to work out, what do you want? Vonnie is in trouble at that time. I could only say that to help her. Vonnie is a big shot now. She must come back to the Lins. There's no co-promise for this. Fine. Bunny, you really have the gut to come here. Nancy has been kicked out of the lens. No one can save you now. Why do you want to be the scapegoat? Jensen Financial Group is strong and powerful. You think you can take him down all by yourself? Even if he risks your life and assert it, it was him. So what? Redeem Jensen Financial Group's reputation. It's just a matter of time for him. It's not worth risking your life for this. You still have me, Sue. Shut up, you fucking bitch! How dare you mention her to me? If it wasn't you, I would be the master of the Jews. Master of the Jews, you damn bitch! Yalin aborted my child, all because of you, bitch! Fine, fine, I won't mention her. Just calm down. I'm here to save you today. Mm. As long as you agree to testify in court, I promise I will help you mitigate your punishment. You are pregnant. You are pregnant, aren't you? Well, you're right. It's Nancy who's behind me. In order to set you up and force John to marry her, she united Johnson Financial Group's shareholders. She sent them money, cars, and pretty girl. Those couldn't find a thing to threaten, huh? She tried to acquire their shares. As soon as the information leaked, she united those shareholders to boycott Johnson Financial Group. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you fucking bitch! Where is Vani? Staff of the design company said she came here.
She went to find Chad. What? Don't you know? What kind of person he is? How could you let Vonnie meet Chad alone? If Vonnie gets hurt a little bit, I won't spare you. The longer we delay, the more danger she'll suffer. It's all because of you, bitch. You're not only ruined my life, but also made Yalin abort my baby. Do you think your baby can stay alive? No way! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Sean, call an ambulance. Do you know she's pregnant? You just take care of her like this. The alert enforcer. How would she do a, such a dangerous thing? If Vonnie gets hurt, I'll make the link pay for it. Stan! I'll kill you! <laughs> Vonnie lost her baby, right? Did she? <laughs> Did she lose her baby? <laughs> that bitch! She deserved it. I regret I didn't kill her back then. She ruined my life and killed my baby! Mr. Lou! Stop! He knows he's gonna die! He's just infuriating you! I'll kill him! Mrs. Vani woke up. Let's go and see her. Baby. My baby! Vani, you finally woke up. Vani. Where's my baby? I'm sorry. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? When I arrive, Chad has pushed you over. Our baby was gone. Our baby's gone? <laughs> sorry. Vani, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I didn't protect you and our baby well. Vani, we will have our baby one day. Next time, I will definitely stay by your side. Okay? It's not your fault. I sneak in secretly. It's not your fault. Why are you here? I come here to see Vani. You don't need to welcome me. We lost our baby because of you and Larry. Who didn't protect Vani well? Who let her be in dangers alone? I've said that if Vani gets hurt a little bit, I won't spare anyone, including you. You want to fight, huh? Come on! Enough! Vani. Live and fight outside. Vani. Get out. Vani. Get out! Maybe you are right. The love story of Prince and Cinderella only exists in fairy tale. It's too hard for two totally different people to be together. Even Nancy knew I'll be miserable when she was taken away. Funny, are you satisfied now? You will be like me one day. You will be like me one day. Bonnie, don't you really want to come back to the Lynn group with me? Maybe? You don't need to persuade me. I know it is for my own good. But the families fight endlessly with each other and caused my baby's death. I am tired. I don't want to be involved in families' fights anymore. Please spare me. Mr. Lou, Mrs. Vonnie, didn't mean to ditch you. She just lost her baby. And she's in a bad mood. That's also my baby. I'm tired. I want to be alone. You can leave now. Vani, if you want to leave, I can leave with you together. No matter what it takes. Only if you are willing to leave. Please leave me alone. Okay. I'll come and see you later. There's a phone. On the table. It recorded Chet's admission of everything. Give it to him. Okay. Then I'll leave now. Call me whenever you want. Mr. Lou.
Do you need me to destroy the Lin Group? Vani told me to give you this. She got it with your baby's life. I won't let you take her away. If Vani wants to leave, I will risk my life to take her. My good son, fortunately I listened to you back then. I ditched Nancy and put all the bets on Vonnie. She really didn't let me down. Thanks to her abortion, she will be more important to John. As long as we make Vonnie come back to the Lins, we can control John according to their marriage. The point is, how to make Vonnie come back? This is a problem. She's so unfortunate to have a father like you. Thank God she doesn't want to come back. Dad, Vonnie has a close relationship with her stepfather, Jack. I've persuaded her many times, but failed. I think this is a tough problem. Jack? That's easy. I'll find someone to kill him, so he can't prevent Vonnie from coming back anymore. Ben? Kill someone for me. Vonnie, since you're not willing to come back... Vonnie, we're home. Don't be afraid. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't protect you. I'm here. It's me. Vonnie, it's me. We're home now. Get out! Don't come over! Don't touch me! Calm down. Don't torture yourself. Okay? Calm down. How should I calm down? John, our baby is gone. Are you not sad at all? Is it true for people like you to ditch everything when there's no value? What about me? What is my value in your eyes? Am I this kind of person in your heart? I don't know. Look at me. The baby is gone. We'll have babies again. Believe me. No more babies. Mr. Lu. I'm just an ordinary clerk. I can't match you. Please let me go. I'm tired. I want to go back to a normal life. What do you mean? Do you want to run away from me again? I disagree. Vonnie, don't ever think of leaving me in your life. From the moment you saved me, I relied on you. I suffered so much. Do you think you can leave me? Vonnie, I'll accompany you no matter what you do from now on. Okay? Cry. It will be fine after crying. Mr. Shu, why don't you come to play with us recently? Oh, Mrs. Shu has been discharged from hospital. Yes, my wife has finally been discharged from hospital. In order not to make her angry, I do not want to gamble anymore. In the future, I will not gamble you. You go when you want to go. You do not go as you wish. What do you think my gambling house is? A hotel? Your gambling house is originally illegal. Do you want to force us to gamble now? Bitch, I will kill you now! You, do you believe it? Well, Ben, Ben, do not be angry. Do not be angry with a woman. Well, here is the money. You can buy cigarettes for them. The money can be regarded as what I lost in gambling, okay? Moreover, what my wife said is true. The gambling industry is too dishonorable. You cannot force me to gamble. I'm just forcing you to gamble. Wife? Bah! Is this woman your wife? We all know... That you have been cuckolded. You let go of him. Let go of him. If you hurt him, I will call the police. Do you want to call the police? Come on. Call the police. Do not act recklessly. Call the police. <gasps> let me teach you. <gasps> Do not act recklessly. Oh, let go of me. Oh, let go of me. Oh, what do you want to do? I may not act recklessly. Take him away. Let me go! 
Don't touch me. Let me go. Let him go. Let's have a nice talk. I know you want money. How much do you want? I can give you today. I can give you anything you want. I want nothing. Nothing? Mr. Shu, actually, someone wants me to kill you. Kill me? Sorry, dude. This can only be blamed on your bad luck. You married a useless woman. That's why you died for nothing now. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Vani, I'm also very sad that our baby is gone. But I promise, in the future, no matter what you do, I will be by your side. I will give you whatever kind of life you want. Then, you must not miss my calls. Quickly reply to my messages. You should appear immediately when I need you. No problem. <laughs> Sorry. I only focus on my own sadness and ignored your feelings. Mm. 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 Oh, Funny, someone kidnapped your father. Who did this? Mom, relax. Tell me more details. It was done by people from the casino. It must be Larry. Did he contact you after the design competition? Yes, but... It must be him. Think of a way to save your father first. Hurry up. I will explain to you later. Fuck you, Jack! How dare you lie to me? You told me that your daughter would come with money. Where is she? Ben, Ben, please wait a little longer. My son-in-law is the CEO of the Johnson Financial Group. He has a lot of money. He'll save me. Bah! Fuck you! How dare you lie to me now? The CEO of the Johnson Financial Group? How come? He's the richest man in the world. Your son-in-law? Guys, put the rope around his neck. No, no! Old rules. I'll count for three. Here's head. On the side winds. One. Please. Two. Stop. Dead. Vani. If you come a little later, I'll die. Are you Ben? It's me. Save me. What? Mr. Shu, I never expected that your daughter would really come to save you. But I regret it now. How much money will the person pay you for this? I will give you ten times as much. Let him go. I am not that kind of person. I won't let him go. I'll give you 100 million yuan. You release him or I'll destroy this place. Ha ha ha. Are you threatening me? Do you think I haven't seen so much money? If you keep walking, I'll kill him now. No! No! This is 100 million yuan. Whoever can release him will have it. I'm curious who will listen to you. My buddies here are all loyalty. Dad! Dad, are you okay? I am fine. Let me go, and you? You just have money. Do you know who's behind me? I know, Larry. The richest man in Cloud City is my boss. How dare you be my enemy? <laughs> Or you will pay for it. Are you okay? Yeah. Thank God. Vani got there just in time. If she'd been a little later, you would never see me. Relax, Mom. We are all right. Sorry. It's all my fault. Larry must have done this. He made you suffer. Stop saying that. But why would he do that? Is that why I revealed Nancy's true identity at the party? Larry's purpose is to make Vonnie back to the Linz. Perhaps he heard Vonnie unwilling to return to the Linz. It's related to you. That's why he did it. Could it be that Leon did this? No way. I don't want to go back to the Linz. Stop thinking that. Don't forget the promise you made me. Vonnie is an adult. She has the right to choose. Don't push her too much. It's been years. 
There are some things you need to let go of. Let it go? How can I let it go? He ruined my whole life. How can I let it go? <laughs> all right, all right. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Mom, I didn't forget. I don't want to go back to the lens. Stop worrying about it. Just go to get some rest with Dad. You gotta go. You've been in the hospital for a long time. It's time to get back to work. Woman can live without jobs and income. Woman can rely on men and become a connery. I am the example. Keep that in mind. I know. I'll be back at work in a few days. Okay then. Goodbye. Well, it's late. Goodbye. Bonnie. I heard your dad was kidnapped. How is he? Thank you for asking. He's fine. Did you hear something? Listen. I don't need to hear anything. Larry does whatever you ask him to do. It's you. You put my dad through this. No. I just said it to him in passing. I didn't think I'd hurt you that much. In passing? Leon, you don't want me to go back to the lynch, do you? You brought it up in front of Larry on purpose. You just got him to do this to my dad. So therefore, I will head the lynch. Do you have any idea what will happen if you do this? Bonnie, I had no other way. I have no choice but to do this. No choice? Haven't you thought about the consequences if something bad happened to my dad? What am I supposed to do? Do I think of you as my father's murderer? Is wealth and power that important to you, Mr. Leon? Don't you know why I did this? Wealth, power, none of these can compare to you. I don't want you to go back to the Lins. I don't want you to be my sister. I like- Leon! Are you crazy? Do you know what you're saying? You are my brother. I am not crazy. Larry is my foster father. I'm just an orphan. I don't want you to go back to the Lins. I have been into someone else. Leon, if you have to say it up, we cannot be friends anymore. Why? I don't believe you never liked me. Juan, are you all right? I'm fine. Do you hurt? Yes. Do you want some sugar? Yes. Thank you. Leon, I've always thought of you as my brother. Whether I go back to the lens or not, you're always my brother. So, I have an unrequited love for you, Vani, I... Don't call her that close. You don't deserve it. Vani, you can't call it that way. Mr. Lu, Vani treats me as her brother. Don't be so stingy. No way. Vani, have you figured it out? Will you go back to the Lins with me? It's Mr. Lin Wan just a famous designer. Or Mrs. Vani. Now that you know, if this thing can't be solved, it would only hurt Uncle Jack and Aunt Jane. If Mr. Lin wants Vani to go back, you should reflect mistakes you have made, and sincerely repent, instead of a cheap shot all the time to compel Vonnie. If he sticks to his guns and not repent, we Johnson's financial group don't mind fighting with him to the end. Actually, whether I go back to the lens or not, it doesn't matter to me. The one stopped me from going back wasn't my dad. It's my mom. Okay, I got it. Mom, I'm off work. I stopped by to see you. On your knees. Mom, what's wrong? About the jewelry fraud. Why did the Lins help you? You went to the Lins for help? How did you know the company was in trouble? It's me. I told your mom. I just worry about you. Biao may do something bad to you. I told your mom a lot. Can you and my mom not fuss? I'm asking you, did you ask the Lins for help? No. Mom, don't be so sensitive, okay? Larry treated you badly, I know. And I promise you, I won't go back to the lens. Repeat the odd you swore again. Mom, on your knees. Well, well, forget it. Your daughter is an adult. The past is the past. Didn't your daughter say the same? That person wasn't her? Well, well. Leon, 
Bonnie really said that I could come to apologize to Jane. You jerk. Do you lie to me? You don't want to go? Then let's go back. Come back. Vonnie said whether she would go back to the Lynns or not, she treats me as her brother. As for whether she treats your father or not, it's hard to say. Fine, let's go. It's okay to bring it to Nan. Get her on her knees. Vow to stay away from the Lynns again. Mom! I know you hated Larry all your life, but years passed. Can you just let yourself go? You have to kill him. Will you reconcile with the past? Uncle Jack. Aunt Jane. I'm Leon. Uh. Jane, I'm here to apologize to you. I'm sorry for you all these years. Get out! I know you hate me. I come to confess my guilt to you now. You can beat me or scold me. But you can't force your daughter to disown me. Anyway, I'm her biological father. <gasps> Scumbag. How do you say such a thing? I don't want to see you. Get out! My daughter has no father. She doesn't need a father. Aunt, whether Vani needs a father or not, it's up to her. You can't take away her choice. <sighs> you are really a good son of Larry. You class an enemy to your bosom. I don't care. But my daughter doesn't need an irresistible father. Her father was right in far over. Her father raised her up. She's an adult now. You say she was a daughter of the Lynns. It's so visual thinking. Vani is a good daughter. I respect her opinion. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, do you see that the Lynns is rich? Your resolution shakes? He almost killed you. Now he's gonna snatch the daughter. You have raised for more than 20 years. Can you be braver? I think... What Mr. Shu said is right years past. You can't use what happened decades ago to force my daughter to disown me. You want to get back your daughter? You want Mrs. Fawny, the most famous designer in the world. You want her to do your favor. Well, if Vonnie becomes the daughter of the Lins, isn't it good for her? Hey, how do you know that we the Lins don't treat her get well? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> in Vonnie's position, the title of the daughter of Linz. She doesn't need it. It is so late. I'll pick you up. Think about what you just said. No one hates to get more money. I told you before I left. You don't want Vani to go back, do you? Mr. Lou, don't get me wrong. We'll be nice to Vani too. And more people take care of her. I think Aunt should be happy, too. It's a rarity that Larry actually has a son like you. That is ancestor bless him. Thank you for the compliment. <sighs> I won't be hard on you. Don't try to get funny back. Jane, I'm not much of a talker, but I really want to take Vonnie back. I really want to be nice to Vonnie. The reason of getting Vonnie back is truly her special identity. But after I take her back, it is good for her. Absolutely. Vonnie has a special identity now. If she has no one to back her up, it is inevitable that others will say that she clings to the power and marry into a wealthy family. Well, I kneel down, I swear. Jane, for so many years, I'm the one who ruined you. I, I'm a jerk. Jane, I really don't expect that you can forgive me. Can you please not use the mistakes I made to blame you and people around you? I believe that if you could let it go when you remarried, you and Mr. Shu may have children of your own. Now I swear, no matter what happens, we'll all be nice to Vonnie. We won't make use of Vonnie. To exchange for any economic value, you should be relieved this time. In my opinion, the stuff should be solved by the children. It's better that more people are nice to Vani. We both can rest assured, Mr. Lu will also protect Vani, even if she is injured. Mr. Lu, he will be the first to protect her. Sure, you can rest assured. How can I rest assured? A few months ago, you said that you're going to have a wedding. 
So far, there has been no movement. As long as Fonny wants, I'm always ready to go. And can we go to the wedding? We can also help. We can be helpful. Century wedding. We, the Lins, can't be looked down upon. Fonny, it's up to you. So, the Lins and the Lous work together to have the wedding of the century. Oh, I believe in Cloud City. It's the most wonderful event. <laughs> Where's your father? My dad thinks you and Vonnie hope that Uncle Jack attends this wedding to avoid embarrassment. He just didn't come. Our daughter will live in happiness finally. We should bless her. Best wishes from the bottom of my heart. We're a family. Next, the couple exchange their rings. Feel you wanna surprise. Why you with me?